There's a uh, little fish bone. There's no way that this big gator could have seen this small fish. And the habitat that they were in is very murky water. And the big question is how that this large individual caught this little teeny fish in really low visibility and murky water. The tiny fish inhabits deeper waters where it's almost pitch dark. Establishing how the gator is finding prey in zero visibility will require help. Dr. Kent Vliet is an authority on crocodilian biology. The decapitated head of a gator that previously threatened humans may hold the answers. It's a head from a big nuisance alligator, probably about 11 foot. And we're going to dissect the eye. Using a razor sharp blade, Kent dissects the predator's eye. Ah, those are the actual guanine crystals that okay. are separating. Tiny reflective crystals behind the retina bounce light around the eye. The same crystals are found in sharks and some deep sea fish. They're perfect for hunting prey in near darkness. These crystals just act like a mirror, right? Exactly. Mm -hmm. It's reflecting all the light that comes through the eye, through the retina, right back through the retina. It's basically as if there's twice as much light there as, as there really is. 